Today is Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooksbank's sixth wedding anniversary. Taking place at Windsor's St. George's Chapel, their dream wedding was 2018's High Society Affair. The bride looked stunning in two figure-skimming gowns, one by Zach Posen and the other by Peter Pilato and Christopher DeVos. Both of these glitzy outfits had low backs that emphasized a lengthy scar from a surgery Eugenie had when she was 12 years old to repair her scoliosis, or curvature of the spine. The princess discussed the value of scars before the wedding, stating, I think it's really special to stand up for that, and I think you can change the way beauty is. Eugenie opted not to wear a veil and instead accentuated her look with Charlotte Olympia shoes and the Queen Mother's Greville emerald tiara. 850 royals, aristocrats, VIPs, and friends were invited by Eugenie and Jack, which is 150 more than Harry and Meghan had when they got married at the same location five years prior. Naomi Campbell, Liv Tyler, Demi Moore, Robbie Williams, Ellie Golding, and Kate Moss were among the well-known attendees. Eugenie arrived with her father, Prince Andrew, and smiled all through the hour-long service, while Jack seemed quite emotional. As his wife arrived at the altar, he remarked, you look perfect. And he also said, Oh, break my heart. She then quipped, Aren't you going to hold my hand? Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, was seen crying as she sat with her oldest child, Beatrice, to see her youngest daughter get married. She was wearing an emerald green wrap dress by Emma Louise Design and a hat from Jess Collett Millinery. Beatrice donned a royal blue dress by London based couture label Ralph and Russo as maid of honor paired with a matching millinery piece by Sarah Kant. The bride wore a stunning ivory silk jacquard gown that Christopher DeVos and Peter Pilato created. The dress had a low back that flowed into a long train and a V-neckline that folded around the shoulders. Eugenie expressly requested the low back feature because she had scoliosis correction surgery as a child. Celebrity florist Rob Van Helden fashioned the bride's exquisite bouquet, which included white spray roses, trailing iris, lily of the valley, ivy, and a sprig of myrtle. Later, in accordance with custom, it was laid to rest on the unknown warrior's grave at Westminster Abbey. On Eugenie's wedding day, Queen Elizabeth loaned her the Greville emerald tiara. Six more faceted emeralds are set on either side of the 93.70 carat emerald featured in the Art Deco design. The British philanthropist Margaret Greville commissioned Boucherin to make it in 1919, and the Queen Mother eventually inherited it. In 1943, the emerald and diamond pattern, together with many other gems that Margaret had gifted to her friend, were transported to Buckingham Palace in a black tin trunk. Up to her passing in 2002, the item was kept in the Queen Mother's jewelry collection. Queen Elizabeth altered the top edge of the tiara after inheriting it making it look nothing like a classic kokoschnik. The only royal to wear the item in public is Princess Eugenie, and she has subsequently given it back to the vault. Princess Charlotte Theodora Williams, daughter of Robbie Williams and Ada Field, Mia Tyndall, Savannah and Isla Phillips, and Louis de Givenchy, son of Zoe and Olivier de Givenchy, were among the wedding party members. William and Kate trailed behind Harry and Meghan as they entered St. George's Chapel through a side door careful not to overshadow the bride and groom. The service had a traditional format, emphasizing choir music and hymns. Opera singer Andrea Bocelli gave a chilling performance of Ave Maria, while Princess Beatrice read a passage from The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Because it made Eugenie think of Jack's smile, Eugenie had asked her sister to read the specific paragraph where Nick Carraway's character describes J. Gatsby's smile. As per the 1923 custom, the royal's wedding ring was crafted from a Welsh gold nugget that was presented by Queen Elizabeth. Together with her husband, Prince Philip, the late monarch presided over the royal family at her granddaughter's wedding. Following their vows, the pair shared a kiss in front of 1,200 on the steps of St. George's Chapel. They then took a quick carriage ride across Windsor and returned to the castle for their reception. Eugenie entered the room wearing a custom-made evening gown designed by Zach Posen. Renowned for his exquisite corsetry and draping skills, the American designer's regal masterpiece was in line with his hallmark style. The sculptural silhouette, made of silk placé, had a hand-pleated bodice, a basque waistline that swept to the floor in a dazzling manner, and strong shoulders. 
White rows of York motifs were used to create subtle embellishment, adorning the shoulders and fastening the cape. It was claimed that the seductive color scheme resembled an English rose. 850 people attended Queen Elizabeth's hosted reception, which featured cake and finger foods paired with Paul Roger champagne. The five-tier centerpiece was created by London-based cake artist Sophie Cabot and featured layers of chocolate and red velvet. It had orange leaves and dark green ivy sugar work, white icing all around it, and the bride and groom's initials around the base. In the meantime, matching floral arrangements were made in accordance with the couple's eco-friendly request and autumnal motif, utilizing greenery from Windsor Great Park and biodegradable oasis. Prince Andrew is alleged to have defied royal custom during the speeches by hugging his new son-in-law in front of the queen. According to a prior source, Jack informed his new bride Eugenie that she lights up his life and makes him feel complete in a speech that was filled with devotion to Eugenie. The couple's star-studded guest list joined them in the Royal Lodge of Windsor Gardens following the first reception. With poignancy, the bride's father stood at the castle entrance, supporting her train as she boarded an uncommon DB-10 Aston Martin that had been built just for the James Bond film Spectre. Robbie Williams sang Angels and many other favorites during the fairground-themed celebration that Prince Andrew and his ex-wife, Sarah, hosted for their guests.